G'day, my name's Cannon Fodder and welcome back to Prison Architects. At the end of our last episode, we got our first intake of 20 prisoners. We are now full and already we have two awaiting solitary confinement. Which is going to be a rather bit of a big deal. We've gone straight for medium security at 500 a pop. There we go, so 10,000 intake. Uh, we've completed a decent number of grants with that. So the 20% uh, the grant was completed quite recently and we're going to start working our way towards some other bits and pieces like prison labor maintenance that kind of thing uh, so we're gonna do bacon is out in we need to unlock maintenance and groundskeeping which I don't think we have an office for just yet so we'll need to work on that uh, but as I have uh, Repeatedly stated, space is going to be at a premium. Um, so I want to wait for the office down there to be filled by a psychologist before I start doing anything uh, anything else along that ilk. Uh, so we'll be, we'll be limited as to what we can build and where we can build it by the shape of the islands that spawn. I don't want to do too much land filling, so I don't want to, I don't want to be using the the dirt floor tool too much. I believe for groundskeeping I need a maintenance guy, so and I need to start doing things like designating the morgue. There we go. We have a morgue. Let's just chuck down a couple of slabs. Throw a door in there as soon as that gets done. But our workers are currently very, very busy. But the most important thing that we have to do today is guard assignment and patrol assignment. So patrols are going to be very important. We are going to have at least four of them with one guard assigned to each of them and possibly two for the long one. There we go. We need to assign some guards to the various areas. There we go, and at least uh, one in there. Which means we're probably going to need to hire some more guards. I need to have at least one in there and one in there. Oh, because we've got at least, was it, one, two, three, four, five guards assigned to that area. Which means I need more guards. And we also have a morale problem. It's 69%. Four staffs have complaints. Basically means that they don't have... Yeah. Time. To do stuff. So we're going to double our guard capacity. Up to 20. They are all going to go to their assigned places. We currently have a cash flow of $119 a day. Yep, dollars a day. Uh, most of the stuff is basically spent on things like, uh, yeah, supplies. And there it is. There is a riot in the bathroom. Some guys that are injured. Some guys that are dead. We do have some doctors. That's unfortunate. And I do believe that he is immediately at max security, so we're going to have to drop him down to not minimum, but medium again. Uh, we don't actually currently have any space for maximum security prisoners. We don't we don't have a max sec right now, uh, which means that we're going to have to uh, modify our policies at least for now. And I am going to save some money on these guys. There we go. We'll go down to 19. We'll do pro rate at 30%. That's fine. Uh, not finance, but staff. No? Where is it? I think it's under needs. Staff needs. Category all staff. Uh, let's see, instead of 10%, let's go to 15% on break. That way, more of them can do things. 
But we are going to need to set up some stuff like showers for staff and toilets and all that. We have to rearrange some of these lights too. And get uh, cleaning details going. Because hot damn, these are disgusting. That is indeed the psychologist's office now. Um, I didn't realize that I heard one. Accountant, chief, warden. I do have a psychologist. And where is my nerd? There he is. Nowhere to be seen. I think to do that one, we'll need to uh, invest in something along the lines like a like a couch or something there. I do need, however, another office, and we'll go back to the deployments in a quick second. So we're going to start running offices along here now. So we've got one for... Uh, what is it? The foreman and the lawyer... Foreman, lawyer, yep. That'll have to do. Alright. They'll get stuck onto that one, those ones. I'm going to need to run at least some electricity out to them. That's fine. And possibly, yeah, a few more capacitors. Which, at a thousand apiece, are quite expensive. Like, hot damn. Alright. And uh, then we'll need to be able to unlock groundskeeping. So let's go staff and then uh, foreman. Yes, I know he requires an office, but that's not my problem. Uh, deployment wise, I do have a doctor that I can assign here, I think. Uh, apparently not yet, but that could be medium security. Medium security and medium security, which means they'll be allowed in there, or at least for now. Uh, that's all staff only. That's fine. He's dead. And that requires a door. A staff door, which apparently we haven't finished this yet, so there is that. Uh, Wall-wise, can't do anything with that either. Because we have not yet. There it is. It's now a medical area. Cool, 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 cool. I need concrete walls on you. And a door in there. And now I can deploy the doctor to there. But it could be medium security. Both cooks there. And I never did the utilities for this, so away we go. Cool. And that should do just fine. And the foreman has his office, which apparently is uh, quite breezy. And now he's researching. Groundskeeping is on the way. No, I don't think we should hire very many, uh, many of them. Uh, I'm not overly worried about visitors. We, we have some exhausted staff. Morale is at 50% in holding, which is good. But I do believe that, that is because uh, staff needs... They need to relieve themselves, and they need their own food supply. So. We need to fix this. We need another canteen, we need another kitchen. So, that's... Yeah, it's going to be a thing. All right. I am going to get to work on that one, and we will be right back. All right, and we back. I've done some stuff. So, we have gone towards filling out our staff's needs by constructing a kitchen, staff canteen, obviously, and a staff common room, so more area for them to relax, not just a staff room. We've also given them their own wash-up area right next to the prison yard. Delightful. Amongst other stuff, we were also eight cells away from 50 total, or capacity of 50 prisoners. 
So I've gone and extended our cell block just a little bit. I had to, I had to, put, I had to place it down some dirt and they were complaining they were bored. So our prisoner population now has a common room as well, accessible through the canteen. We've also gone and hired uh, 10 more guards, a few more, a few more cooks, and a few other bits and pieces. We've finally got our foreman and our lawyer. We've hired gardeners and cleaners. And at some point, we're going to have to start doing things like prison labor, as well as uh, exporting some stuff too. So let's just quickly take a quick look at logistics. Uh, transport does allow for outbound, but for whatever reason, it's not. Uh, we're going to have to deal with our daily cash flow, which is definitely in the negatives, for sure. But I think for now, we're just going to have to uh, sell some of the extra objects that we seem to have come across, including some of these construction materials, as well as potentially working on some of our staffing issues too. Now, I don't believe that we need to have 16 of these guys anymore, so we're going to go down to 10, just to deal with things like maintenance, uh, filling in tunnels and what have you. We're also starting to do uh, regular shakedowns in an attempt to deal with uh, contraband items, pretty much. And then at some point we're going to have to start doing things like patrol, uh, parole, sorry, and uh, visitors, visitor centers. But I think for that we are probably going to have to start a second island, which I probably start in the next episode. I think we'll get get going with parole and that kind of thing. Um, as well as working our way towards some more uh, automated forms of dealing with some of our prisoners. I think I might put down uh, like move our storage, move our deliveries and our garbage and all that, put down some scanners and stuff again on another island somewhere else. Uh, we can actually take those grants too, so... Let's go cell block B, which we've done. Let's get the milestone going. That's that one for the five phone calls, the five oh, phone booths rather. Uh, we'll have to deal with prison labor in a second. Uh, maintenance, we've also done, so that's more cash for us. There we go. Advance and complete. We have absolutely done the security procedures. We'll need to do acclimatization and engagement at some point as well. And let's work on our, let's get, yeah, short-term investment going. And we've unlocked the third one. So I'm thinking Uh, let's get the long-term investment as well, which just requires, both of those just require us to hold out for uh, an advance in funds, which is nice. So, I don't know, I know we've seen this already, but we need to go over the patrols again anyway, because I have actually added um, some more stuff onto that one. We've got an extra guard to throw at the problem now. Uh, I've got some more I'm still not going to worry about deploying very many guards to this. Um, in fact, you know what? Actually, let's. I'm going to change my mind on that one. Let's assign two. Um, there is potentials. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. Yes. And is decreasing. Okay. We might have to spend an entire episode dealing with staff needs, which is mostly warmth. So let's round out our third episode by dealing with uh, power and warmth complaints. So these will all be connected through the one pipe, so once you've got, once that one's in the middle, that one will stop blinking. 
which is good. So this is going to require us to have things like radiators running around the place. Um, this is one of the staff needs that can get very uh, picky. So I'm going to put one there. I'm going to put two radiators in there. Maybe a radiator in there. Radiators in each of the offices. Let's chuck one there, there. Next to the doors there. One in the staff room. And one into there. And maybe just a couple in the uh, pr prisoner common room in the canteen. Cool. Now, we're going to hook all those up. So... This is going to go in two directions. We can also do hot water for things like all of the showers. Which is, you know, tends to be a good idea. And then I said I put one there as well. Now, I realize this is not going to be the most efficient setup. So before anybody says anything about that, I am aware. Just, you know, don't think it's that much of a deal. Big deal, rather. We'll have to run another pipe through there. And probably uh, we can't frost that water gap. That's unfortunate, so we'll have to run this up here. And then through the yard. There we go. So he's still got to... Yeah, work on some stuff there too. And the tender so construction workers will probably do just peachy on that. Alright, they'll get to work on that one. So, the warmth will have a rather well, hopefully a positive effect on staff morale because it's currently decreasing and I don't want to increase their wages. Too happy in their job. It is increasing. It's because I do believe we've got uh, some of the radiators hooked up now. Yeah, so over here is all hooked up. Uh, we'll need to go back into utilities and hot water pipe. Yes, that's all done. Good. Let's keep the warden happy because a happy warden is a happy prison. Or so I've been told. And hot showers will hopefully keep our prison populace a little bit more... Mm, I don't know how to say... It's, uh, what's another word for under control? Happy? Docile. Words. And then just run across there like that. That'd be fine. A little quick little hop and drop, and we will open up our intake. Fill the capacity, please. We will probably also need to hire some more guards. Because I doubt 30 guards is going to be enough, even if they are super guards. So we might have to order hire another 10 or so, which is really going to put a dent in our daily cash flow. Um, for whatever reason, that's not connected. They might not have been able to reach it. Let's do that. Yeah, he can't get to it. So, we will put, we'll put a door in. <laughs> oh, this will be funny. Alright, but for the most part, um, I believe there's a heat map somewhere? Somewhere, somewhere there is a heat map. And, graphs, no... Grading, no. Ten presidents must be released before this report can be comp compiled. 
yeah, fair enough. All right, uh, let's do temperature. So these areas are our hotspots. This is where all of our radiators are. Uh, the prison in general is quite cool. And the shower has hot water. That's going to be warm because it's where the generators are. That's going to be toasty because one radiator, two cookie. And doing all the cooking. Is cold. Why is cold? Uh, possibly because that doesn't continue all the way over, like stops just shy of it. That one definitely does. Alright. It does seem that the range on these is a little limited. So we'll see if maybe extra pipes help. That does, definitely for sure. That did not. Either way, we're going to have some uh, rather busy worker boys for a, for a hot second. He's still not connected. Maybe that'll do something there. I'm not overly worried about that one or that one, because... Let's actually dismantle that one, because we've got a radiator there. And we'll see if that does anything for us. That did nothing. Alright, never mind then. Alright, well, let's, let's put the radiator back. There we go. Alright, but I do believe that's going to do it for me today. In our next episode, we're going to work on our visitor center and our parole uh, area as well. So we have to buy another island and start working on that one. Start working on visitors, start working on bridges, that kind of thing. But until then, thank you all for watching. If you like what you saw, then you know what to do. My name's Cannon Fodder, and this has been Prison Architect. Oh look, positive daily cash flow. Nice. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.